So now you've upgraded to 8.3 and you've got an MSDP pool. And now let's say you want to do cloud tiering. It's super easy to get this done now. All you need to do is add another cloud target to the same storage server. If you look at what I'm doing here, I'm just going to pick the storage server I want to add it to. And I can go right in here. All I need to do is provide a disk pool name. Uh, this is going to be used as basically part of the, the logical element that jobs will go to. So I can have different pools inside the same storage server. And those different pools will allow me to do things like tier data from one level to another. Or I can go directly to the cloud. Or I can have a local copy first and then go directly to the cloud. After I set that up, it's pretty much establishing the volume parameters. The volume parameters basically help us understand you know, where that data is going under the covers. You only have to set this up once and then pretty much um, beyond that, it's, it's all just a logical element. This is basically how I define a cloud storage server. So I just go down, in this case, I'm going to use Microsoft Azure, and I just have to select that. Once that's picked, um, you, know, you pick the, the region you want to use. Um, you know, in this case, I'm just going to use the traditional local one. You have to enter your credentials and um, get that set up. You can also do additional things here, like use a proxy server um, and all sorts of stuff. But um, one of the biggest things is you got to, of course, have a bucket you want to use. This storage account didn't have any buckets created whatsoever, which is no big deal because you can create them right now. I don't have to make them ahead of time or anything like that. I can if I want to, but I can just make it right now, and it will show up in the list, and I can go use it. Uh, once I've added it, see it already creates the bucket in the cloud infrastructure for you. And I can basically do things like do the encryption. Oh, can't forget to check the bucket. And then I just have to do next. So the encryption I'm doing here is KMS encryption, which means we're gonna, we're gonna encrypt that data using a, a managed key and it'll be available. Once I review the settings, I just click finish. And now my storage pool is all set up. Now all I really need to do for this is create a storage unit that I can use as a logical target for my backups or protection plans or SLPs. Um, however you want to dice it, I mean, this is basically the thing that I would send a job to. Even if I got um, another data source and I want to just send this to the cloud, I can redirect backups or copy backups from that data source to this one. Um, it's simply a matter of just picking it up, making sure you got the disk pool selected in it, and it's done. There you go.